Hi, I'm Bridget Sherman, the Director of Youth and Recovery Services at the Ashtabula County Mental Health and Recovery Services Board, and the Chair of the Ashtabula County Suicide Prevention Coalition. And I'm Matt Butler, Clinical Supervisor at Community Counseling Center, and a member of the coalition as well. We wanted to take a minute to talk about the Ashtabula County Suicide Prevention Coalition and the work we're doing to address suicide in our community. First, Bridge is going to talk about community context. Ashtabula is the northeasternmost county and geographically the largest county in Ohio, with a predominantly Caucasian population of under 100,000 people. Ashtabula County includes a micropolitan area as well as a large rural area. Poverty, meeting basic needs connectedness, and transportation have consistently been identified as community concerns. We focus on youth, middle-aged men, farming and rural communities, veterans, and seniors. In terms of lead agency or convener group, the Ashtabula County Mental Health and Recovery Services Board created the Ashtabula County Suicide Prevention Coalition with the help of local behavioral health providers and health departments to address suicide prevention as a separate issue from substance use prevention. Our coalition membership consists of community sectors and the community sectors currently represented on the coalition are very diverse. We are seeking more effective strategies to engage high risk populations in coalition activities and to encourage more coalition membership representing these priority populations. Matt's going to tell you a little bit more about coalition operations and processes. Monthly coalition meetings are open to the public. Members of the community may seek the coalition by contacting the MHRS board via the website or phone through partner agencies or by accessing one of the coalition's community projects or trainings. The coalition makes decisions through group consensus. Now Bridget's gonna talk a little bit about leadership and staffing. The Ashtabula County Mental Health and Recovery Services Board acts as the fiscal agent for the coalition and provides staff to chair the coalition. Volunteer coalition members choose which coalition activities to which they commit their time, resources, and leadership. In terms of structures, while not a nonprofit entity nor an independent organization, the coalition is developing bylaws and mission and vision statements. The coalition oversees the loss team, which provides postvention to survivors of suicide and other traumatic loss, and the incident response team, which provides mental health response to county school districts. I'm going to talk a little bit about pooled resources. Member organizations contribute human resources, including volunteers, staff time, and collaboration with other community organizations to reduce duplication of efforts. Data resources come from the Mental Health and Recovery Services Board, health departments, behavioral health provider agencies, and the coroner's office. In terms of member engagement, coalition members play the primary role of identifying potential new members, recruiting and onboarding them as well. We recognize the importance of formalizing these processes in order to increase buy-in and expand our ranks with motivated community members. As far as assessment and planning goes for our coalition, members are familiar with the prevention specific strategic planning and have utilized elements of it when creating annual action plans. The coalition adopts the action plan every state fiscal year using local data to determine the needs of the community. In regards to synergy, synergy occurs through the combination of pooled resources, member engagement, and assessment and planning. Synergy is evident in our coalition in many ways, including the collaborative strategies required to plan and carry out our annual One Life 5K race. We acquire resources for the implementation of our strategies through coalition members, identified community partners, and volunteers. There are often many more resources available to us than we realize at the outset of a project, and our human capital gives us a way to access those resources. Matt's going to talk a little bit about community change outcomes. The coalition's goals are to see a decrease in completed suicides, increased access to services in priority populations, including postvention and prevention services, and the training of more community gatekeepers. In regards to health and social outcomes, the coalition has increased online visibility of our suicide prevention programs. Although we don't have a specific website, the Mental Health Re and Recovery Services Board and Prevention Coalition have helped our outreach initiatives through their social media tools. This includes promoting virtual trainings to more isolated areas and communities. When it comes to community capacity, the coalition has strengthened existing relationships, 
built new ones, and increased community engagement. These opportunities have brought communities together and have increased the skills and abilities of community members through training along with increasing grant, grant funding and shared data. The Ashtabula County Suicide Prevention Coalition meets the first Wednesday of every month at 3 o'clock p.m. We meet at the Mental Health and Recovery Services Board Office or virtually in the time of COVID-19 response. The meetings are open to the public and all are welcome to participate in coalition activities. We provide opportunities for community members to learn more about this issue, help prevent suicide, and how we can help promote community connectedness. We genuinely believe that the only way we can continue to make a difference in this major community issue is if we all pool our efforts and work as a team. We could really use you. Call 440-992-3121 or visit www.ashtabulamhrs.org for more information. And thanks for watching.